very early the following morning, and with only two days to go before they must cook again for Dylan and Nick, the finalists arrive at Ireland's only two Michelin star restaurant, Patrick Gibos. Exhausted from their long service yesterday, the three MasterChef finalists now need to find the stamina and reserves to step their cooking up to the next level. Morning, guys. Morning. Well done on the cooking in some of the best restaurants in the country at one star Michelin level. But your MasterChef journey is nearing the end, and this morning we have set the bar even higher. Restaurant Patrick Gibault holds the only two stars in the country. Having been awarded this accolade in 1996, it has remained unchallenged in this position ever since. Leading the team is Patrick himself, director of restaurant Stéphane Robin, and executive head chef Guillaume Lebrun. Each of you today will get a Gilbo signature dish, which means you'll be solely responsible for that dish for the service. Chef Guillaume will be at the pass and nothing will leave the kitchen unless it meets his exacting standards. You really need to impress us here, but more importantly, you need to impress Guillaume and his diners. OK, guys, good luck. Restaurant Patrick Gibos on Dublin's Merrion Square first opened its doors in 1981 when Patrick himself moved from France to Ireland. The restaurant was awarded its first Michelin star in 1986 and its second in 1996. For me, there is a, a big difference between one and two stars. There is a real accomplishment in each dish, and that comes from the chef. Well, what's going on, I think, in Guillaume's kitchen is the fact that it's the finesse, it's the lightness of touch, it's the cooking timing is so important, it's the, the ingredients that they use, that there has to be class A ingredients, and that the execution of the cooking is just beyond belief. When you start going into two and three star Michelin restaurants, I always find that the chef nearly comes out on the plate. Some of what he is, is personified in food. I think Guillaume would teach them the importance of presentation. It's so important, you know, the balance. Does everything work together on that plate? That's why we're in the holy grail of restaurants. This is the ultimate. Because if you don't listen, you will quickly be kicked out in the back alley there with your kitchen clock on your head thinking, where the hell did I go wrong? That's it. Fabulous. Mike has been assigned one of the starters. He will be cooking Clotterhead lobster ravioli made with free-range egg pasta and coated in coconut scented lobster cream and a split curry dressing. He will be cooking alongside head chef Kieron. I've never eaten in a restaurant like this, so this is a phenomenal experience for me. Looking back to the first audition, I never thought I'd be at this stage, but you know, I've challenged myself, I've pushed myself, and I took every challenge on, and I really enjoyed it, and I'm here. I'm in the final three now. Okay, so I can put the whole lobster in. Yeah, no, 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 you have to uh, put the tails in first. Yeah. When that's boiling, take it off. Mike did very well from uh, straight from the start. He had a big mise en place list and he got straight into it. But uh, the execution is, is, is paramount. Nothing's going to go out into the restaurant that's not top notch, full stop. One of the main courses is a slow braised cheek of veal with grilled gambas prawn and lemongrass satay sauce. And Bridgine will be responsible for this dish. She will be cooking with second head chef Ross. We were looking for perfection before it's, I don't know, how to be perfection, but uh, they, go, they, go, they go another step. So um, yeah, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be hard work today, making sure every element is correct and getting it plated up right. Nothing else will do. When you're making this sauce, you really need to build up your basis of flavors eh? right from the start. She's doing reasonably well. She's very clinical, very clean, and uh, I actually really enjoy working with her today. Of the three desserts on the menu, Mary will be making a deconstructed chocolate tart served with a quenelle of bourbon vanilla ice cream and gold leaf. She will be working alongside pastry chef Hugo. You know, I was very intimidated in the beginning and now I feel comfortable in professional kitchens as well, as comfortable as you can feel in a professional kitchen. So I think Marie, she has a, a lot of finesse because she has the eyes to the details. She's listening and she executes things really, really nicely. I am daunted at the plating process and, and also I have to put like a quenelle of ice cream on top and I hate doing quenelles. Ah, 
This afternoon, some of Gibo's most esteemed clientele have been invited to dine, and they will ultimately decide if the MasterChef contestants have recreated executive chef Guillaume's signature dishes to his standards. Check on chef, please. Hey, listen up. Three quarts, one ravioli, one foie gras, one trotter, one veine. Wait. Wait. One veal. One veal. Yeah. One veal. 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 One and exquisite service. Mike is off to a promising start with the lobster ravioli. Well done, Chef. well done, not bad. For the first one, I'm, uh, I'm impressed. Very good, no? It was absolutely fantastic, really full of flavour. Really, I enjoyed it, it was lovely. The presentation was perfect, which I think is really impressive for a chef at this level. So really well done to him or her. I've had it here before. It's my favourite dish in Gibo's. It tasted amazing, just as I would have expected. Really good. Lovely flavour. Sauce is good. Mm -hmm. Lovely textures. Not too much curry. Mm. Wonderful. While Mike may have started well, Bridgine is struggling with the presentation of her dish. Customer looks at it like this. Clean down, punch it. Yes, chef. Chef. Fucking left tongue. Man. I think the guys were a bit bothered by the fact that I'm a kid talk, that I'm a lefty. So, uh, yeah, it does make it a little bit more awkward because you're kind of doing everything backwards. Whoever made this tonight, it was as delicious as I've ever had in Gilbo's. I had the veal from my main course and I really enjoyed it. And definitely it, it was of a power with what they serve in Gilbo's uh, every day. One ravioli! As Mike's orders back up, he starts to lose focus. Ah, I don't like that. Allez. Okay, change plate. Change plate. You need to check your pasta. Huh? Overall, it was very tasty. The lobster was beautifully cooked. I felt there was a little bit too much pasta. It, it, it created too dense a, a parcel around the lobster. Your pasta is not cooked. Come on, hurry up. Mike has done very well, but uh, some of the dishes have been in inconsistent. Some are very good, some are poor. Uh, he's all over the shop, really. As Mike tries to get back on top of his orders after a great start, left-handed Bridgine becomes more accomplished in her placing up. Ah, well done. Oh, my God. What's, what's happening? Magnificent. Well done. Oh. <laughs> Don't find too surprised. Ah, like it, Nicholas. Excellent. Sauce is beautiful. But, yeah, it's very tasty. If Bridgine cooked this, this is... Um... Well, she did, then... She's a long way from where she started. Not completely. Breeding is, uh, is, is excellent now. The, the, the last couple of plates are, are, are top-notch. Uh, it's, per it's perfect, you know, I'm very happy with it. Chef Gibb is very happy with it. I hope she stays at that level, you know? With all the starters and main courses nearly served, it's time for Mary to start on her desserts. With all her prep done, Mary needs to hold her nerve as she plates up each dessert with the precision that is required. You need to after after you we have to go fast. And then needs to top off each tart with a quenelle of bourbon ice cream. For me it's not really really good. It's better, okay? Table 30, chef. The only thing is really, really, really important to me. Yeah. It's at no stage I want to see a section like this. Okay. Never. Chef, will you tell me if it's okay or not? Now you... When I ask you to do the canal, 
You need to go for it. My souffle is in oven. He's ready in uh, 30 seconds. I have to sell my table. Come on, Mary. You need to hurry up. Yes, chef. Chocolate tart was 10 out of 10. Just the ice cream let it down a little bit. I don't know the background of these guys, but if they're able to produce food like that after such a short space of time, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It was really very tasty, crispy, smooth, nice, bitter chocolate taste. And obviously a bit of gold leaf always go, looks quite good too. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much. Looks good, Nicholas. Mm, amazing. Yeah, this is right up my street. A wonderful dessert. I love ice cream, even still. Uh, I could do that the quenelling, but um, no, I really enjoyed it. It was great. There's, there's a long way to go between our level and you know, mission start cooking. So, you know, they were patient with us, and um, but we, we, we all really enjoyed it. I think. What are we looking for? It's, uh, it's going to be one of those races where everyone is capable of winning. And if they do something like we had today, then it's going to be a tough call for us tomorrow, which is what I'm looking forward to. I hope you had a good lunch today. I would like to introduce you to the MasterChef's finalist. First of all, Bridgine. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> Mark. So listen, three of you, fantastic job. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very good. Very well. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Game. If you have to go down to the bookies and place a bet on who's going to win, who do you think it is? I'll say Bridget, no? Uh, Mike have a lot of potential too. He need to listen and use his own uh, guts feeling, you know. So Mary hasn't got a looking at all then? The key to the dish, the quality of the quenelle, just, she just couldn't capture it at all. And, uh, she couldn't get it. Eventually we had to say, that, you know, that's not good enough, send it back, send it back. Next time on MasterChef. I want it.